S. World famous comedian, who found fame screenwriting on 80s sitcoms Blackadder and The Young Ones. But Ben Elton has revealed he still gets nervous, as he prepares to return to Friday Night Live for a one-off special to mark 40 years of Channel 4. The 63-year-old admitted that despite his success, he still gets jitters as he prepares to act as compare for the stand-up show on Friday. Speaking to the Mirror, he confessed, I guess I do know I can do it. But that doesn't mean I'm unaware of the possibility of failure. I mean, I've never actually died on stage, but I've had the odd whiff of embalming fluid. Ben added that the ever-changing political landscape nowadays also means that it's a lot harder to come up with his usual political satire. He said, it's kind of a moving target. I mean, in all the days I did it in the 80s, I was never in a position where you had no idea what and who the government would be at the end of the week. In many ways it is a great week to do it because everybody's jaw is on the ground with astonishment and horror. But it's also a bad week to do it because the situation is being so fully discussed by literally everybody. Friday Night Live was hosted by Ben and launched in 1985 and was responsible for helping to boost the popularity of a number of now household names including Stephen Fry and Hugh Laurie. Speaking about the return of the show, which was initially called Saturday Live before moving to its Friday night slot, Elton expressed his delight at the fact that the show will once again be completely live. He said, those who know the show, from years ago, I hope they'll know what to expect, great all live entertainment, proper cabaret, the way it used to be. I mean, I think that's what's missing from telly now. Everyone's watching things on their phones, pre-recorded, streamers, you know binging something over a week, and nothing's immediate. But Saturday Live and Friday Night Live are kind of dangerous telly. There's no delay, everyone's doing their act, absolutely there is no edit, Terry's no cuts, Terry's no pause. The audience either laugh or they don't and you either get it right or you don't. The special will feature a selection of familiar faces who found fame on the show as well as new comedy talent currently on the circuit, including Harry Enfield, Joe Brand, Julian Clary, Rosie Jones, and Ma on Rizwan. It comes after Ben compared the modern woke movement to communist China, claiming there are things you can no longer say. He contrasted comedy in the past and now, saying his generation was all about breaking rules while the younger generation today is all about making rules. Speaking to Radio Times, Ben said, there is a whiff of Maoism in the air, the whiff of cultural revolution. There is now a new way of thinking, and you will be required to think it. My wife came up with a good observation the other day. She said our generation was all about breaking rules and it seems like the younger generation is all about making rules. These are things you can no longer say, these are things you should now be saying. Maoism was developed by Mao Zedong, also known as Chairman Mao who was the founder of the People's Republic of China which he led as the head of the Chinese Communist Party from 1949 until his death in 1976. Ben said a feature of acts in the 1980s was a movement against racist and sexist comedy, adding that they had a new mindset and tried to find new ways to be funny. The comedian said he is proud the language of the young ones and Blackadder is still part of the culture. Friday Night Live will be shown on Channel 4 and All 4 on October 21 at 9pm as part of Channel 4's Truth and Dare season.